Hey guys, thanks for watching our Twitch re-upload, but if you want to join the fun, you can head over to Twitch, click a follow, and you'll get all the notifications when we actually go live. Would you like to be red or blue? Uh, red, obviously. Of course. Um, red is always my choice for player. I usually go um, with orange if it's available, but... Yep. Sean, or black or white. Sean and Billy love blue. I would like blue, and I do enjoy blue. But I think I have fallen into the just taking um, taking red every time, and everyone just seems to be okay with me being red. It's really upsetting when you play a game and you're always one color, and, and someone else gets and it. Then someone else takes it, and then you're like, "I'm going to do this action." Oh, that's not me. What is that? What the heck is that? It's the Loch Ness monster. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's my uh, work name, Nessie. 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 That's beautiful. Yeah. People at work call me I Nessie. I can't repeat my work name on stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it Big Galumba? <laughs> yeah, Big Galumba! <laughs> All right. Oh, Golden Geek 2015. Well what deserved. else have we got? Well deserved. Um, some, I believe, French award. I can't read it. I'm sorry. Also, weirdly, there's a chart on the side of the box. You actually have to use the box for scoring, mm. which is kind of interesting. I got my farm, got the playboards, got those, set these up. How's everyone's morning going? Day, afternoon, Christmas, oh, Hanukkah, pandemic, all the above. Oh no, these are all mixed together. Oh no, wait, do they keep these ones separate for me? Happy quarantine day. Happy quarantine day. I hope you have enough toilet paper. The, the interesting thing is it's like, Australians care nothing more than to be able to take good hearty shit. That's it. That's the only thing that they care about. They don't care about their health. They don't care about like food. They just care about being able to wipe their bums. This is true. That's it's, it's phenomenal, isn't it? Um, I thought stall, it was going to be eight. One, two, three, four. Is there not another stall slash stable somewhere? There should be. All right. So mixing, give... and spending too much on games. Hey. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm I actually like I. I would actually not mind being self-quarantined. <laughs> two uh, weeks I, off? Boy, I stay have, inside and play video games for I, two weeks? I have been buying way too many video games lately, and I still oh, need to no. buy <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at Doom Eternal on the Steam store, and it's $100, and I'm like... So you're already doing things wrong, Lachlan. <sighs> Why? How many because do we start with? Because each just... player gets nine, and then the remaining eight yep. next to the board. I was like, there's only eight that go next to the board. Why yep. do we have so many? Well, I'm gotcha. actually going to come in for this conversation about video games. Yeah. Now, Doom right. Eternal looks sick. So... Oh. So, eight of those, and then we get nine each. I have to talk into you, Mike. So, uh... That's cool. It'll pick you up. I have to buy Doom Eternal. Mm -hmm. Have to. I, I have to, because mm. I made a promise to stream that. Um, so we'll stream it, but it will be on very low quality because my computer's a potato. Um, I also have to get the Rainbow Six Season Pass, the Battle Pass. Oh, you, know, you like Rainbow Six Siege? I can't uh, believe What gave it away? Give it away. Give it away. <laughs> um, and then Animal Crossing's also coming out, and I've been told I have to pick that up. I mean, oh, yeah. No, see, my sister's buying Animal Crossing, so I'm going to play Doom. Right? And then when she's done with Animal Crossing, I'm going to borrow Animal Crossing yeah. from her because I. I can't be bothered spending like two hundred dollars on two games. Let's face it, I'm not, I'm not buying Doom for the game. I'm buying it for the soundtrack. <laughs> the, the game is just extra. I mean, you could just listen to it on Spotify when it comes out. Ah, uh, no, I support the artist, mate. <laughs> yeah, good old Mick Gordon. Would have you played this game before? Me? Yeah. No. Okay, cool. So we won't I, play. I, we won't play the advanced version. There is. I've only played the base game and it was once. So yeah. that's cool. So we won't play with the all the extra special. Um, mm -hmm. uh, these buildings, they're fun, they're just a little bit too complicated when you start off. Yep. Um, we are missing a stall stable, so if you see one that's double-sided mm -hmm. somewhere in this pile. Uh-huh, it's right there. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, there's supposed to be five of them. This is your game. It is my game, and it's we're missing one. And it's really disappointing. I mean, I just came here for Kahuna. Let's be real. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Mick Gordon is, and I cannot stress this enough, a fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my boy. Uh, so many actually screaming, screaming kids. 
Dude, All right. so good. I'm so... Why did they make the cows and the goddamn horses the same yeah. colour? God damn. That's upsetting. That, that is actually upsetting. I was like, I actually have to, I had to look at them and go, oh, hang on a second, it's different. Wait a minute. But it's a shame when the actual, uh, the, the soundtrack is better than the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this you is... You say that like the game's bad. No, the game's good. <laughs> the game is so good. So you, no, it's not a shame. <sighs> it's amazing when the soundtrack is as good or better than the game. You know what? Booted up Halo on the Master Chief Collection. That is a soundtrack. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Is it Doom though? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Good game. Straight <laughs> up. You're a you're a special child. Yes. So this is Agricola. <laughs> <laughs> All creatures. Great and small. <laughs> Big and small. What happened? <laughs> we're keeping the box here because there is scoring on the side of the box. Oh my lord! So you'll score for all of the animals that you have. The more animals you have, the more that you score. Can we just hold up for two seconds? Tom, what are you doing? They don't matter. Can you just at least neaten them up a little bit? No, because I'm just pushing God, them to the side because they don't matter. Because then they just go back in the bag afterwards. Because oh, we're not playing advanced. Because I didn't realise you'd never played this before. Tom. What? If you're not using them, why does it matter? Oh boy. <laughs> well then why do I even sort these sheep out? Uh, quote uh, 500, <laughs> they don't matter. <laughs> that's just so you can sort the, the, the horses out. I love how I've got one really skinny horse. Yeah, just one skinny horse. Love it's it. Just, He's just, he's a little boy. Quote 501. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. All right. So this is Agricola, all creatures big and small. Um, the aim of the game is to have as many animals as you can in your farm. Why are you moving those yeah, things? Yeah, I was about to ask to move them down. That way? Down? No, up. Towards me a little bit. Oh, no, okay. no, too far. I will come over there and, and touch you Just on, do it. on your head. Just come and do it. Do it. I'm good. All right, so. Uh, false threats. Each of your, so it's a work placement game. We've both got three little farmer dudes that we're going to place down and get things that we need. Not true. <laughs> what? <laughs> we do, that's literally the only thing you have. I also have these wood things. All right, that's... Uh, the there game is. is played out in four phases. You got the refill phase, where you fill up the different parts of the board with the extra stuff that it needs, so those things will grow over time. Um, like this place here gets one pig, and then every turn you put one sheep on there as well. Um, pigs are worth, like, some points. Cows are worth much more than pigs. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the other way around? <laughs> Just much more. Guys. If how you, much more? How much more? <laughs> just don't worry about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's just say that it's much more. Yeah. So basically at the end of the game, if you have less than three of each of the animals, then you lose three points. And then uh, ranging from the bottom, horses is five to six to get one point. Cows is six to seven. Pigs are seven to eight. And then sheep are eight to 10. So yep. in terms of rarity, it goes horses, um, cows, pigs, and sheep. Cool, are we happy with that? Is that clear? Yep. Got it? Lock it in, Eddie? Good. Yes. yes. All right, what's next? Yes. Um, all right. D -d 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 the work phase is when you place stuff down to take those tiles. Then you've got the home phase, everything comes back. Mm -hmm. And the breeding phase. If you have at least two of an animal, it breeds. Yep. Now that doesn't mean that if you have four animals, it breeds twice. It's only if you have more than two, they breed once. Yeah, I got it. And then if you don't have space for that new baby animal, it mm -hmm. runs away. And you can have how many? Two? Yes, so you can have two animals in, in, in each space, mm -hmm. and you can upgrade, and that's each tile. Yep. Um, you can then upgrade that by putting more Water, things, watering troughs. watering troughs on there, or other buildings can have more. So like a stall can have three yep. animals, gotcha. you double that to six. Gotcha. Um, you can only keep animals in pens, which is where these come in, mm -hmm. and each building also has each side of it to become yep. a pen. Gotcha. You can then buy extra tiles to make your farm bigger. No problems. Um, so 
You can keep animals in buildings like the cottage, but that can only have one animal in it. Uh, it's like a pet because that's where your people live. I Special have buildings. Seen your horse. It <laughs> tastes just like raisins. <laughs> um, Special buildings will um, cost you resources to make, but they'll let you things like let you do things like keep five animals in there, mm -hmm. but you need to have a stall to begin with. Um, we can all build stalls. There are four stalls available, and then you can upgrade a stall to a stable, mm -hmm. which can also keep five things in it. Yep. Um, anything else that we need to say? It's mostly just make things and go. You because don't even of, start with any resources. I was going to say, because it's a worker placement, you just kind of like do the action. Yeah. Then the action happens. So, phase one, the refresh phase. Is that what it's called? Refresh? Yes, it is. Refill? Refill. You didn't correct me, Tom. So, refill. On here, we get one wood on this spot. We get three wood on this spot. We get one stone on this one. Two stones on this one. We've got one wheat or reeds or what are they called? A pig, a horse, mm -hmm. and a cow. And I then. think that is everything that needs to be replaced. Oh, and we get to put one of these over here as yep. well. Uh, da -da -da. So basically, anything that has an arrow next to its action but also is parentheses. refilled. The parentheses will come into in the next refill phase because if there's already a wheat in this field, then we put a sheep in there. Exactly. But it's only just been refilled. So. Yep. Do they breed in the market square? No, they do not. So in no. the market, they get added. Because mm -hmm. um, basically what Lachlan was just saying in chat was a little bit behind us because that's how delays work. But when there is the basic good in there, then the next round, the other good will be added. No, in. but during the if there was two horses in here, they do not breed. No. In the breeding phase yeah. is what he's asking. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, to <laughs> add the good shown, mm, it, yeah. So that constantly get added. So it kind of breeds, but it, it doesn't actually breed. It just gets another one added there. Yeah, exactly. So yes, and no, all at the same time. Um, so your, your basic actions are going to be um, placing wooden beams down. What are they called? Uh, fences. I'm just going to call them fences, fences or borders sense. because they're they're basically fences. So you can put your thing here. You get two times. You get two fences, and then you also can pay you, the extra fences. Do you want me to go through this? Sure. So, action number one at the top here is taking the first player marker and one of the wood tokens. Action two is oh, no, taking it's three. The wood tokens that have accumulated. Yes, accumulated, sorry, because one replenishes, but more can be stacked on there. So then you've got take the ones that are on this space. Same with these ones over here. So stone, or if there's two stone on there, but they can, can be more. Uh, this space here in the second row is any number of um, wood to build your fences. So if you had seven wood, you could build seven fences to build your and that's things. from your supply. From your supply, yes. This one here is you get two free fences without having to spend the wood for them. And you can spend two um, stone that you have in your supply for any number of fences. So you could spend four stone to build two fences. You could build eight stone to build four fences on top of the two that you get as well. Uh, this space here in the second row is you get one uh, of each resource. So you get one wood, one stone, one wheat. Um, correct me if it's not called wheat. This next space oh, is you get one... Um, it's reed, but it's, it's wheat. Yeah, you get all of the wood that, or all of the fences that is accumulated over here in this space. Um, and then you also get to expand your paddock, which is you take one of these tiles and you place it next to your um, existing farm. And they have to go either left or right because there's a little road at the bottom that um, connects them. In the next area, instead of being in the row, we're gonna look at uh, this market. Same thing, you can take the items that are in this market and then- Each turn, add, more animals will come in there. Yeah, so you'll end up having a lots of wheat and <laughs> sheep in here and things will expand as they go. So you just take what's in there and that's where the arrows for ref refilling go. Over here, once per um, action, you can take, um, so three stone and a wheat is gonna get you a uh, stall. So you take one of the stall um, things and you put it anywhere in an empty, uh, anywhere on your farm. Yep. And I'm pretty sure you can have animals in that same yep, spot. It's got three in the bottom corner. No, but I mean like if you had animals already oh, there, you, yep, could, you could totally fill it in. like put yep. it there as well. Um, and they Is have this agricola family? 
Uh, uh, Agricola, all creatures big and small. So Agricola, the, the two-player version. Yes. So do we have... Thank you for... Uh, Zilba? Z- Zaliba. Oh, Zaliba's new here. I, like, I'm so used to just seeing everyone's names just pop up. <sighs> Hello, welcome. Hello. And because you're new, you should definitely put in exclamation mark and your favourite colour. Uh, and that will turn our lovely lights in the background. I'm Lachlan, this is Tom, and we have behind the camera, we have Reese, and we have just played Seven Wonders Duel, and I beat Tom by three points, and it was great. And now we're playing Agricola All Creatures Big and Small, which is the two player uh, Agricola game. So, similar, nice you've tight. still got paddocks, you've still got to put your animals in there. Works very similar to the original Agricola, which is, I think, f- only four players. Yeah. Um, Whereas this is the two-player variant of it, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I must say. If you want, if you want to play Agricola, because Agricola is also uh, a very popular Euro game. Um, it's good. Anything uh, else? Game that we goes for eight rounds, eight which rounds. you can track by the eight things there. Exactly. So here, build your stall. This other space here is um, one uh, trough and any number of wood to build more troughs. So you get one one trough to put into a space, and you can spend three wood to put any number of, oh, three wood per trough into your spaces. The fourth, oh, third space in this um, area is any number of um, You can do it any number five, of times. Five wood or five stone, and you can transform one of these stalls that you have into a stable, um, but you can only, obviously, you flip it. Yeah. So and then the other that. two, and then the last one is one special building, um, which are these ones here. So you got yeah. because we're playing the base game, mm-hmm. so the shelter, um, which will immediately give you an animal. Um, it costs you two wood and a stone, and it's only got space for one animal, mm-hmm. but it's a free animal. Yeah, so um, you, you get that animal straight in there. Storage, I don't fully understand. So storage, let's have a look. So ah. Uh, so, um, half coins per building resource. So, oh, at yeah. the end of the game, your um, co- uh, the buildings have victory points on them, yep. which are the coins costs in the corner. Yep. Um, and you get half uh, half coin half victory points for them for each, per building resource that you have. Yeah. So that makes sense. Open stable is just a big old stable, but it also gets you um, a free animal. So it's a really quick way to get a stable. And then the half timbered house upgrades your house um, and must be built over it. You may not build the half timbered house on a different farm space, mm-hmm. and it lets you keep two animals of the same type in there. Yeah, so everything's got symbols, so there are a lot of things. So, like here, for example, the, the stalls have that cost at the top, which is three stone and a wheat, which is the action on here. And similarly to these ones here. So when we take the special buildings action, you have to pay the cost, which is at the very top there, to actually build it. Yeah. So I yeah. think we're pretty much ready the to go. The only other thing to remember is that you score for, each, for the scoring that it says up here. Mm-hmm. Anything more than you get um, than each one, so it says here, 13 sheep is worth 3 points, 14 is worth 4. If you keep going higher than 16 or 12 for horses, you get one additional point. Um, and for each farm expansion that you totally use is worth 4 victory points. Nice. Yeah, so there's a little bit of extra um, extra things. Just extra scoring to keep track of. Um, I have not played... Uh, te- uh, Takinaka. Te- yeah, Takinaka. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's, uh, a, it's another Japanese-inspired one. Yes, have not played it. I think two or three of us in the nerds group have a copy of it. And I don't think anyone has actually brought it to the table because it's pronounced "Taken Oko," starring Liam Neeson. Fuck! God damn it, Reese! <laughs> gonna, just... Oh, that was actually that was really good. <laughs> that was really good. What a boy, Liam Neeson. That was good. But no what? shaking hands, coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Twazi to see who goes first. Uh, yes. And or whoever went to the a farm last. Hey, what's the app that you used to go first? Oh, uh, I think it's called uh, the Twazi. If you haven't seen this before, we use it all the time. You put your fingers on, fuck off, and then it'll select someone. Look at that, Lachlan's going first. Cool, so I get the first player mark. Yes, you do. Thank you very much. And if you, as long as you're keeping that. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, god damn, there's so many choices of what to do, and I don't know yeah, what to boy. do. Yeah, um, boy. I feel like just getting 
resources is going to be handy because it's going to be. This is why I wanted to play with Reese, so I could say the words resources. I hate you so much. Yep, totally worth that joke. It's not worth the joke at all. I'm going to take the three. Yep. I'm going to take the three uh, wood that's here. It's a very good move. Because that's just handy. And is it your turn now? It is my turn now because that's how turn-based games work. Um, <laughs> resources. Classic meme. Uh, I'm going to grab myself one of each. Also play that resource game to start. And back to you. Started that's, using Amanda EDH life count to score games on the fly. I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's a pretty good idea, considering you can split it into however many players yeah. you've got. Um, here we go. Uh, let's build some fences. Oh yeah. So any number of times, so I'm going to spend my three wood. I'm going to build three fences. Nice. Which means... Get yourself a little pen down there because the cottage counts as having a fence. Exactly. So I think we're off to a good start. It's definitely a good start. Now I'm trying to remember, can you destroy fences or once fences are placed nope, down? that's it. Everything is final. No takesies backsies in this game. No, I'm saying I'm trying to remember. I did know that. <laughs> I'm letting you all know. Uh, I'm taking the two stone. No takesies backsies. The game itself. Okay. But what if takesies backsies? But well, what if? there's definitely no takesies backsies. What if you could? I've got no resources. I've got nothing good. I can't build any special buildings. I can't build any more fences. I am poo out of luck. The one thing that you can do is move your animals around to new places as much as you want. Mm. Oh, so you can like move them into yeah. any, any space. So then have them start breeding. Oh, that's a good idea. So if you build like two pens and they're separate, then you can, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Let's take this lovely Big cow. Big old cowboy. I'm gonna take this cow. All right. Put him in my pen. Dude. Which is, it's a really good starting move. You got some animals. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm gonna build a stall. Move. Building a stall? Yep. A cow? Nice. I'm gonna Stop end you. Me. I'm gonna end you, mate. Build myself a stall, three stone, and a um, whatever the other one was called. Wheat, reed. Wheat, wheat, reed. I think yep. it's reed, but it's food. Food. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. All right, and now that's the end of the work phase. Look at that, we placed our three things down. So we take everything back. Take them all back, and then we refill. Nice. Our breeding phase first. No one's got uh, animals to breed, though. <laughs> hey, I got animals, but I don't have to. Exactly. Cool. Um, and so we refill. So we put one of those bad boys there. Mm -hmm. Stone. Three of these bad boys there. What? what are you laughing at, you <laughs> terrible person? I posted a picture of myself on the Discord and Maggie started up a sheep, a game. sheep, and Photoshop a sheep. Photoshop 2 is called Reach Reacts. Ah, oh, oh, classic. That's amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, and only the same kind of animal can be kept in a pen. You can't like mix and match if you've got space for extra stuff. There are some rules for that, so, so yep. I think there are some buildings that allow you to do that. There are, but not in the base game. Oh. In the advanced game there is. No, I thought you could, but... Yeah. Uh, well, let, let me double check. Uh, d -d 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 stalls and stables. Keeping animals in buildings. Animal, uh, keeping animals in pastures. Each space in a pasture can hold up to two animals. The animals in a pasture must be of the same type. Mm -hmm. um, keeping animals in buildings. Animals can also be kept in buildings. Normally buildings get built on farm spaces that do not already contain a building. Um, buildings may be built. Da -da -da. Three animals of the same type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So the the troughs, though, increase the amount of animals you can have in there, They right? multiply it by two. Multiply it by two. Yeah. So for the example here in the rule book, if you had like a double pasture, because it's like two per space, yes. if you had one in there, then it makes it four for that big area? Uh, it, well, it makes it... Um, so each space can hold... Mm. God, well, it's saying it here. Uh, you read it. I'm going to take my turn while you double check them rules for me. Oh, we also need to put one of these yes. on there as well. Tracking the game. <sighs> this. So it multiplies that space by two. That space by two. Yeah. Okay. But you can only ever have one trough in an area. I believe so, yes. Troughs are final. Everything is final. Still haven't seen final space two, though. 
season two because I'm a bad person like that and completely forgot it was out. <laughs> it, oh, so many things to choose. So many different animals. That's gonna give me fences. I think taking the wood again is a good move. So Tom, you're up. Oh, I was gonna take the wood. Of course you um, are. So the one feeding trough in the pasture doubles its entire capacity. Mm -hmm. um, so it can, so it's two plus two times two. So that was eight overall. Yeah, so if you had like the fenced area in two uh, pastures yeah. and you put a trough in there, then that whole area gets doubled, right? Yeah. Cool. So then if you had two troughs in there, then it's doubled again. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but each trough, I believe, can only... Um... Yes, it would double again because each space can have a trough. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Gotcha. That's how you can get so many sheep. Fair enough. Oh, you took the three wood that I needed. Of course I is, did. Which is real, it's real... It's honestly the best real maneuver. Real dick move. Because three wood. Yeah. All right, um, let's get in on this horsey game. Gonna no man cow disease, no cows with guns. Sheep in my cottage. Cows <laughs> with guns! Have you not heard that song? No. Oh, oh race. Let's, let's put that bad boy on. Nah. Race, yep. that. YouTube, cows uh, with uh, guns. Uh, the stream. Uh, <laughs> the stream, we're putting it on. Because there's a film clip that goes with it that it's, you have to watch as well. It's good, it's good, So, man. you definitely need it. Wow! What a Ray, of all the people, yeah, I know, right? I would have thought that Reese would have seen it. Okay, Cows so with guns is the best. It's <laughs> it's a song, my dude. So I, um, I really wanted that three wood, but it, it jumped in early. Yeah, I did. Got it good. Mm, two stone. Nicely done. Take that two stone. I can dig it. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Cows with guns is good. I think he does other songs as well. All right, I'll grab this two yeah. wood because I just remembered I already have one wood, so that would have changed everything that I did last turn, and I'll also get the first player marker. Yeah. See, I would have waited until there was three on there, but then I could have just taken it instead. I was going to wait so. till three, and then I realised that I have one, so it doesn't matter. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, okay. So we need some wheat to buy some stalls, and we need some wheat to buy. Like getting resources is the hard. The hard yeah. juggle. Getting getting wheat is the hard juggle because you can only get it from this space and this space and they never accumulate. Mm. They only ever just one. But I've got a good move next turn. Do you? Yeah, man. Good. I'm glad. Is it worth it? Okay, I am going to take the cow. Yep. Because the cow is going to breed. Yep. If I don't. We're both getting on that breeding game this turn. Yeah. Look, he's stacked. Mr. Booker T, I can dig it. Oh my god. The, rest, the wrestling reference. <laughs> All right. I'm going to build a special building. Yep. And I'm going to pay three wood for an open stable, which mm -hmm. will instantly get me the extra horse I need. Wood goes up there. Um, so it upgrades my stall. Yep. Because it has the to go on top goes of the back. stall. Yep. Because gotcha. it's got the little upgrade symbol there. Yep. And I now have two horsies mm -hmm. in a space with room for five horsies. Nice. That's good. It's a good pretty, idea. Pretty good move. I like it. I like it. I like I'm, it. I'm out of resources, but that is the end of the round. Cool. So we have breeding. We both get a thing. Breeding. Yep. I got three horses. I have three cows. We're not in the next anymore. Sheep. Well done. Well done. We did it. Okay. Take then back. Breeding's done. Take everything back. Ah, drop and then thing. we go to the refill phase. So. Do you want to do the animals and I'll do the top I will. section? So we get a horsey in here. We get a cowboy in here. The arrows are there so that you fill it on the space and then you push them into yep. the other area. Okay. But we're just going to add it to the area. Bulk sheep game going. Uh, fence. We get a fence going. And that's it. Yeah, all the areas. You're first because you have the first player marker. I am. Oh my god. How are we getting into wrestling? Reese isn't uh, even on camera. Reese is not even on camera. I'm making friends. All Dude, right, when do we? <laughs> Did you have the wrestling game on? Uh, it set? should be. It should be. Oh no, I took it home. Oh man. That's a shame. Uh, no, I took one home. Give me this. <sighs> we do have a wrestling VHS game that we are going to play. As DVD wrestling. D yeah. DVD wrestling. A whole bunch I of stuff. I do have this one though. Yeah. So we are going to play. <laughs> 
some <laughs> some wrestling games. I just realized that it blocks the entire game. On it just blocks it all. It's, stream. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time for I, everyone involved. I mean, involved. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's gonna be Reese, Chris. Who else in our group likes wrestling? Uh, no one. No one. It's just <laughs> oh, those two. I put up with it. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, I, I enjoy it now. You've converted um, me. I'll probably have to talk to some of my wrestling friends. I was gonna get say because I would not get any of the references or the jokes about the wrestling. So, yeah. yeah. Goddamn wrestling. Yeah, that's the whole thing. It's coming. We're yeah. gonna have some wrestling uh, on on stream. It's gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna take that three wood before you can. Yeah, wood is wood is just real good to have. Wood is very good. Would you kindly, sir? So, would you kindly? I'm gonna take. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That's so, so many sheep. So many sheep. But you got nowhere to put them. Yeah, you're not wrong. Or do I? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to. Do you take the bulk resources? Do you take the, the reeds that you need? I need everything. What's the play? It's, welcome to Euros where you're like, I'm going to do all the things. What's the plan? And then you cannot do any of the things. Yeah. Fences. Oh, okay. I can dig it. So, three to build myself a fenced area. Nicely done. It's going to. Maybe we should build it like. Yeah. Yeah, we're working on it. You're working, we're working on, on it. it. You're getting there. We're thinking about our plays, and yeah. it's, it's it's hard times. All right. Well, I'm not a fan that you did that. <laughs> is that because so, uh, that cause you wanted to? Build yeah, that's why I was getting wood. <laughs> um, but I'll. Oh man, Doctor Maggie, more like Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. God damn. Mm. <sighs> Shit. God damn it, Maggie. God damn. What an absolute superstar. Yeah, let's get the three of those. Let's build resources and plan for the future. It's like, there's no like good way of just getting resources. Yeah. Just get more resources. So we're gonna take the reed and the two sheep. Yep, get some breeding going. Oh no. What? I can't breed into that because they can only have two. They can only have two. You can breed and it goes in your cottage. Oh, uh, it does? Yeah. Because okay. you can put it anywhere. They don't breed into that space, they breed and then you can move animals as much as you want. Crap. But they're going to breed this time and you're going to be shit out of luck. I'm going to be shit out of luck this time. Yeah. I mean, unless they put it into that paddock instead, which is kind of pointless, but you, you said, when can I move them into other paddocks? As, uh, whenever you want. Whenever I want. Yeah. So I can just be like, nope, nope, yeah. nope, nope, nope. Figure nope. out the best space for your animals. Did you put your resource down? Oh, look at that. It's Zalabar's from WA. What a boy. And when we follow you guys, good stuff, keep it up. Oh, what a boss. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. We hope Super you enjoy good. what did we're you, putting down. Did you put your third dude down? No. No, okay. I'm so I went lost. first, then so you went, lost. then I went again, and now it's your turn. I'm going to take this one here. Yep. Get yourself some red. You get me just a bit of everything, because I, yep. I need... I need it. Your turn, Tom. All right, let's... Let's do some of this. I think it's the right play. Build two of these. Go one, two, and then pay an extra two for three. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. Okay. Special building. Yep. Not special building. This one. Stall. Yep. Stall. Because I need a stall. Yep. Because otherwise I'm going to be shit out of luck. Get, get yourself some extra breeding space. Get me some extra breeding space. So I really needed that. So that cost me three yep. and one. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, it does. That hurt it really so does. so bad. That is so upsetting. I did not enjoy that. Did you enjoy that? Because I didn't enjoy that. I, I didn't mind it. Um, that's, that's it. Breeding phase. Breeding phase. Each of us make one animal. Cow breeds into paddock. Nailed it. Look at my four horsies. My four horses of the apocalypse. 
Oh, I haven't been paying attention to the game. <laughs> He's been talking wrestling. <laughs> and Dr. Maggie has also been watching wrestling, so... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're a bad person. All right, take your dudes back. I'm still the first player. Oh, my God. Underestimated monkey. Welcome. Have they been in chat before? Oh, I have not updated... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Reese. Reese. Are... I am sorry. <laughs> Oh, he got got. We have a guy behind the camera just so he he does things like this for us. Mm. Welcome, welcome in. Seven Wonders was good though. If you missed it, it's gonna be up on VODs and it'll be up on YouTube at some point. Probably the closest game of Seven Wonders Duel that I've ever played. Cool, I'm Lachlan, this is Tom. Yeah, All creatures, big and small, the two-player variant, or two-player game of Agricola. Exactly, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refill the animals. You and, and Rosenberg. He yep. does a bunch of games. He does. And you can reveal the resources once you take your dudes back. No. I refuse. Alright, so this one gets a sheep. Why was there not a sheep? Oh, because there was, yeah. This one gets a pig. Get that pig game going. Mm -hmm. And then these ones all get a sheep. Oh, this is... This game moves quickly because it's on a timer. And it's only three turns. It, it, three things each round. Oh my god, this Which is rough. Is, it's so good. Oh man, give us your favorite color with an exclamation mark for changing the lights. Um, so yours, you're up first because you got the first player marker. <laughs> He's got you good, all right. So I'm gonna need some more fences at some point. We have Reese behind camera. Um, and Tom's gonna take an action and probably take some resources. Yeah. There it is. It's been overused. Does this have a scoring pad as well? This does. All right, I'm gonna take these bad boys. Oh gee, I'm bad at my job. So that's four. I forgive you, Reese. I forgive you. Four there. I'm just here to look at right? So many resources. So many Reese horses, all right. <laughs> Reese horses. <laughs> uh -huh. This sucks. A lot. Take these. Yep. And the first player marker. Yep, you can have that. There you go. Thank you. Your turn. Trying to decide how many fences I actually want to build. Mm, yeah. Because you need, you need, you really want to be building a bit of each animal and then like focus in on one animal, which for me is horses. Yep. Um, so I think I need to get some more animals going now and then expand into other animals later. So I'm going to build fences again. Dang, I built the wrong one. I thought cows were more rare than horses. And I went through it, I fucked up. So that's one there. A dung goof. Two there. Yep. And then let's go, what do I want to go? One there, two there. <laughs> and then I can build another two and then leave that one open to expand into later. Yep. That's a play, that's a play. So sending two times two. Cool. For another two. Yep. There. That's my turn. All right, you can't even put your fences on your board straight. Mate, we've covered this. Oh my I'm god. I'm good at games, I'm just not good at playing games. Oh my god. Don't stop. You know, usually the more games people play, they get better at like... I know, it's like when you, it's like a skill, right? When you I'm, do something I'm a lot... I'm too busy focused on learning all the rules to beat you guys and to learn how to actually put things down. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> I was wondering when someone would, and you also get an expansion tile. It's real nice. Because you were like, I'm going to expand. And I'm like, have oh, not this turn. fun with that. Because we're in expanding town. It's going on this side, though. Yeah. Because I've already got fences. I have fences on both sides, actually. Uh, it's them. got to go that side, I believe. No, it goes on either side. You've got roads. Come on, Tom. It doesn't have to. It's got roads. It just has to connect with the road. It goes on either side. You can place it either side. I've never played this game before, Tom. But even I know that. Hmm. I always thought you could just go that way. That's no, fair. No. All right, I'm taking the sheeps and a pig. It just has to connect with the road, so you can't put it upside down like this, because that so, would be silly and your road would go nowhere. Four sheeps. The plural of sheep is sheep. And a pig. <laughs> so we gave us a follow. I forgot. Ooh, oh, thank you, man. Thank you didn't, very it much. didn't play the sound. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't do anything. Sound. I'm not paying attention. It's oh, all broken. I am, I am so sorry. Reese can auto do the follow thing if he knows how to open Lumia and press the thing because the lights are supposed to flash and they work for subscribers and I cannot figure out why they're not. I think I just have to reset it and Maybe. be like, this is the new follow thing. 
That sounds like an option. Yeah, that's for you. Woo! There you go. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. This is a, a bad good time. time. <laughs> a bad time. Bad time. No, don't. Oh. Uh, good move. Tom. Tom. I did do a good move. Did you? Yeah. It was actually, it was real good. You know what we should do? Start singing the Doom soundtrack. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Why are you like this? Diddly diddly diddly. One reed, one stone, and one wood. Sweet. Oak. You've got, you've got bulk cows, my dude. I have bulk cows and no other animals. No, nothing else going it's on bad for you. Time. All right, breeding phase. Yep. I get myself another horsey. I get another cow into this cow area. Uh, Favourite board game so far? From Underestimated Oh! Oak is Lachlan. Apparently we're playing Exploding Kittens. What? Oh didn't man, update that. didn't update the chat box. I also get a Reese shit. is good at his job. Um, my favourite game. My perfect Sunday. Um, now nah, you go. You know what yours is. It's a pretty close tie between Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica, Galactica. Damn. and Concordia. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played Battlestar in so long though. Um, it will be happening on stream. We've already filmed a promo for it. We just got to lock in a date and have five people ready to play. I'm just looking around the table and thinking. Is it Tiny Towns? No, Tiny Towns was my favourite game of 2019, okay? And it was a good game. Don't get nah, me wrong. No, you, you, you run him into the dirt. You just, you, 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 you oh. knock him down. Um, no apologies. It has to be Superstar Showdown is my favourite. <laughs> Superstar. WWE Superstar Showdown. Hmm? Oh, what's on the... No, it's like... Okay, Race for the Galaxy, pretty good. Race for the Galaxy is pretty good. And Istanbul. Mm, so Those so are two of my favourite games. So Istanbul and Race for the Galaxy. There are other games out there that are very good and I can't think. I think it all depends on like categorising because it's like Tiny Towns are so lighthearted and easy. Race for the Galaxy is a little bit more complicated and Istanbul is a solid Euro. So... That's fair. And it has a lot of like replay. I mean, it did also win, like, what is it? Spiel de Aras or? Yeah, won, um, won a lot of stuff. Can of Spiel. 15? Don't yeah. Don't know. Francis. Good game. Good game. All right, and Reese's favorite ones. Reese. Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride's good. Machikoro. Yeah. Machikoro is good. And Rayholt. Solid. Rayholt's hot. Oh, Rayholt. <laughs> Rayholt is so good. Rayholt's good, man. We have to play, we have to play Rayholt on stream because that was your favorite game of 2019. Even yeah. though it came out in 2018, we played it last year. Because welcome to Australia, where everything comes so later. Long. It takes so much longer for games Honestly, to arrive. The, the hardest thing about us doing board game like content creation is we can't get things quickly. And the biggest thing you need is to get games quickly and get up on that YouTube algorithm. And we just, just can't get Follow there. Up. Do you guys buy your own games? Do you get a list of games you want to buy? We um, we have from this collection is a like all of our games, so like Tom owns a bunch of games, I own a bunch of games, Reese owns a bunch of games, Sean owns a bunch. There's a lot of us which are just like friends and we just borrow games from each other, whenever we want. Thank you. Thank you. See, that's what it's been. Why did it work for him? I don't know. I think Zilba followed us previously. Oh, okay. Maybe I did fix it. So. Um, That's good. We do buy our own games. We have been yes. sent a handful of games. Mm. So we've been sent uh, Mechanica was one that we have been sent. Fluttering Souls. Fluttering Souls we've been sent. Uh, pandemic 10 year anniversary we were fortunate oh, enough to get given it. a free copy of that Reese forgot. I love you man, you're doing good. <laughs> Wait, we got given that? We got given yeah, 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 yeah. pandemic wow. 10 year anniversary. What? Under yeah. my clothes. Wait. <laughs> we, we talked about doing a video on like board games with interesting boxes, like Pickle Rick, which is around here somewhere. Ah, um, uh, Pickle Rick. And then I, I asked on you know local Facebook group, hey, has anyone got a copy of this that we could borrow? And the game store was just like, "No, yeah, you can have it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that we just got yeah. it. Amazing. Um, have you guys played uh, <laughs> Gloomhaven? That's my number one. I uh, uh, have uh, not played Gloomhaven. It is on the list. We were talking about earlier about how we have Machikoro Legacy on the shelf, and Gloomhaven is definitely something that we want to get to the table. None of us... No, Callum, Callum owns, owns it. Gloomhaven. Callum owns it, and he's playing it, uh, but none of us have been fortunate enough to actually play it at um, yet. I want to buy it, but I also want to spend the money for On Mars. Yeah. Because Gloomhaven's two hundred dollars and On Mars is two hundred and fifty dollars. You can get Gloomhaven a bit cheaper these days. 
Yeah, I think about 175 is I've probably seen it like the cheapest. 150. No way. Yeah. Never seen it that it's cheap. It's dropped once okay. the hype died down, and they produced so much of it, and so many people had so many extra copies, mm -hmm. the price has dropped. Did Fair you enough. Guys, get pandemic coronavirus DLC. Yeah. I'm mm. avoiding the plague as much as I can. I did not. Oh, also we have this cool feature called Big Head Mode. Uh, don't. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, no. Yeah. Apparently, I'm short. How am I? How many? Oh, I've got 30. <sighs> I'm close. I'm on 1300. <laughs> I'm close. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Um, um, and they've just added the ability for channel points to affect the lights. So we're gonna be gonna be upgrading our lights fairly <laughs> soon, so everyone can do more stuff. Can you take your workers back so we can refill the, the stuff? No, I cannot. Thanks, man. Right. Um, I'm on. Scythe I'm on Aminals. Is a very good game. So uh, Scythe is really good. I really enjoy Scythe. Um, played it a bunch. I think Extra like piggies. we went through a phase. It's like whenever we play a game, Extra. we end up playing it. Back to back to back to back. Yeah. Um, because so what, it's fresh. The start of the year, and then <laughs> June followed that shortly after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, June. The, like, June, June's so good. good. Like, Aussies, I enjoyed it. Aussies getting fucked on the price of board games. Like, like babies, what's the situation? <laughs> we get fucked worse. Though, that said, um, like, I, Asmodee has just put up their prices on a bunch of games. 100%, it's US pricing. Yeah. The, that's the uh, basis for everything. Yeah. So that's why everyone else gets screwed. Yeah. Um, because it's all US prices. But they they've just put yeah. most of the like like Kaksan and um Catan and stuff all up by like ten US dollars. So I think like New Zealand would work similar to Canada, where it's like New Zealand would then be based off of our um uh, shipping and stuff, mm -hmm. because similar to like Canada, where it's like you could get it from America because it'd be easy for you guys to ship from America to Canada. It is not easiest for us to ship from America to Australia without paying $50 yeah. of shipping because board games are not light. They are big and Kickstarters are expensive as yeah. well for shipping. It's like $30 extra for shipping. <sighs> it's a whole and, extra game. And I guess for like New Zealand would be similar where it's like our, pr our price and their price is always more expensive than our price. That's probably what we'll end up doing for Gloomhaven but I think Callum's got the, the refresh kit. Um, so we'll be able to get it pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah I so think we'll just buy it off Gallup. I think there's going to be a, a couple of games that we are going to like put in to buy. That is so much wood. That's so much wood, and I get to go first. Oh my god, wood. Yeah, that's fair. That's why I took the um the wood last time. Don't even care. Double feeding troughs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. I like what you did there, and I hate it all at yep. the same time. So for my second action. Because you've just taken your feeding troughs to increase your I am running out animals. of room for my horses. Animals. I'm going to take the... Oh, it's like two stone. Two stone. One of everything. One of everything. Because one of everything is just handy to have. Because yeah. I never know when you're going to need it. Done. Turn. Over to you, sir. What's on the other side of the stall? Five of it either. Holds four. It's kind of handy. I like it. All right, let's get this. What is your favorite board game? Please let us know, because Scythe, we have a we do have a list of games we've played this year, similar to like the Top Gear um, fastest track, and we're trying to rank our games to see where they fit, uh, but only for the games that we've played this year. So like this came out ages ago, but it still deserves a spot on the um, the chart. Um, what else is good? I mean, Love Letter is amazing. Favorite Love secret hidden amazing. agenda game would be Love Letter, I think. No, Citadels. Citadels. Mm. Citadels so good. is so good. Oh, no, Siege is pretty up there. But I, I do, <laughs> I do love me some Bruno Faduti because Faduti, Faduti, Fadai, Fadai. The, the guy who makes Citadels and Secrets. Good games. Good games. Good games. I thought you were trying to pronounce Bruno Cathala. No. <laughs> Bruno uh, Cathalo is a good designer. Oh, uh, Resistance is good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 paper waster. Uh, Resistance is good. The problem I have with Resistance is no one wants to play it. I would yeah. happily play Resistance, but no one wants to jump on that because they're all too scared. And had gonna, some bad times. Gonna take some extra horses and sheepies. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of four of these horses. Funny, I mentioned magic cards and yeah. bloody paper waster jumps in. He's just like, what's going on? Yeah. Magic, you say? <laughs> so this can hold eight, I believe. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For yep. co op games, um, 
we, we we normally have four people um, for our board games. We we can do three players because three works perfectly fine for a lot of games. Today there's only three of us in here, so we're playing some two player games. So we've got Reese behind camera, Tom and I playing Agricola, and uh, we're going to play Kahuna next. Really, if you want to if you want to see what we can do and what we're all about, uh, youtubecom slash Nerds of the West. Links um, are down below. Links are always down below. Just or put them in the chat. He's got. He's uh, on top of it. Way ahead of you. Um, and that'll show. Like we've done five player games. We've done D and D. We've yep. done. Uh, if you want to see kind of the most kind of advanced, we did Captain Sonar. So mm. six players, graphics to show where all the ships are moving. Yep. I it's mean, a good time. And our most recent one, I would also Doom. Maybe not recommend starting with that because that's hectic. Is like two years ago. Yeah. Like yeah. Stuff's yeah. So the most recent would be Doom, yeah. um, which is a co op game where Tom played the Invaders. Co op and versus all at the same time. Yeah. So both. And our favorite cooperative game, hands down, is Flashpoint. Yes. Flashpoint. <laughs> so good. I'm, I'm looking at you guys and you're like, what is he going to say? I was about to say, what are you going to say Doom? Say? No, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. You is got our the dog favorite. expansion for Flashpoint. You can play as a we, dog. We you play, can play as a fire dog and it's great. Yes, we play the new Doom, which was released in 2016, the board game. And we also have the old Doom. Um, we own both copies of them. Similar, we also own both copies of uh, Robo Rally as well. Uh, special building. Yep. So three wood, two. And a read, and that's yep. gonna get me this bad boy Solid over plays. here. Solid place. Half timber house. Nice. Oh, sorry, it has to go on my cottage. It does, it replaces your cottage. Gotcha. But now your cottage can hold two things. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. All right. That's that's it for the round. Um, Doom is good, Flashpoint is amazing. Um, yeah, so Doom, one person plays in the Evader, and the other people play as the Marines, and Tom was trying to wreck our day, and we were trying so to good. kill demons. Also really keen for Doom, the video game. We do play a little bit of video games, but we'll get more on that this year, I reckon. <laughs> All these questions, and you have buildings Sorry. to buy, sheep to herd, oh. families to feed. I'm taking Sorry. it at one. I couldn't let, you, yep. couldn't let you get on on that next turn. Hey. I don't think you are going to, but I was like, I think I only really need one more fence, so let's get it now. I mean, half the time, the best thing about Twitch is that it is a good time to chat as yeah. well, as opposed to just ransacking the game. And to be fair, the amount of shit talking we do when we play games normally, we're oh. used to playing whilst Amazing, playing. yeah. Time, time to breed. I get myself an extra sheep. Cows. Meaning I'm maxed out on sheep. Cows. And an extra horse, meaning I am close to maxed cows. out on horses. Cows. I have so many cows, it's not funny. I have seven horses. I have too many cows. Yeah. Seven horses. Seven horses and eight sheep. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. Not doing well. Alrighty, I'm going first because I have the first player yes, marker. You are. Let's refresh the yes. stuff. Horsey here. Piggy here. Sheepy here. That's a lot of sheep. It's a lot of stone rock. And another sheepy there. In Stonesville. Uh, we need a fence or a border. There's only two more rounds left well, in the game. Three more, including this one. Three more. Well, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I would like to just say uh, this is rough. <laughs> this is very rough. So we're going to build some fences. Yep. Smart place. So I have one, Bold two, wood. three, four, five, six, seven, eight wood. Uh, well, I have Battlestar and all the expansions. And I so have... So that's a good, like, $200. Seven... Fences. Nicely done. <sighs> most expensive, like singular most yeah. expensive game. Mm -hmm. Oh, D and D, bro. <laughs> yeah, D and D. No, Magic: The Gathering. Both. One, two, three. Um, Callum does four. have Batman Love Letter, which Five. isn't expensive on its own because he only paid like fifteen bucks for it, but it's worth like ninety dollars now. Wow. Because people are like Batman. Yes. That's that's a big. You got all the space in the world for your, your cows now, and that's four points just there. Yeah, so I spent all but one, so yep. how many did I have? That was six, that's seven there, so I get to take one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So that is be, my... Sorry. Yes. Um, I think it'd have to be Mansions of Madness for me. I think that mm. was like 120 when I got it. That's yeah, solid. Imagine Madness is a good game. Or, or it'd be Zombie Side, which was 150. 
zombie side. And then if you if we <clears throat> collectively, mm-hmm. then it's definitely zombie side because I have the expansions. Uh, yeah, I have season one, two, and three, and a bunch <clears throat> of expansions, and they are all in a trash bag in the shed <laughs> <laughs> for certain reasons. Yep, <laughs> they're not on my shelf. <laughs> so you got cows going early, and cows are hard to come by. Yep, you're not wrong. You got horses early, and horses are hard to come by. Yeah. But you know what? We're gonna do some sheep. Oh, I was gonna take that if you didn't. I mean, I'm now at the point where I need animals. Yeah. So I get like having animals at the start of the game is good. Yeah. So then you can like build up what you need to do, but then yeah. it's also just like. I didn't have the space for it, so I was building resources instead. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, so what you're saying is I should move my cows over there, right? Yep. So cows should go there instead. Because you can move all your cows into there. Yep. And that would be better to have a bigger area for more cows. And then this cow is going to go over there, and that's... I'm trying to think how many turns there are left. Because I want to get some more pigs <clears throat> on the field. But I don't know how much space I'm actually going to have for them. Mm. Oops, yeah, I don't Scorp. have any. Oh, right, Scorp, how you doing, my Ooh. dude? Welcome in. What's going on? You're in at a very interesting time. Um, I think... Yes. I really needed that read. So I think I'm going to have to take that one mm. and get one of everything. We also play RPGs, so role-playing games. We've done D&D on the stream twice. We've done Cyberpunk uh, Red, which I still don't... Can you can you Google when the actual like proper release is? Because it was it? supposed to be at the same time as Cyberpunk, but yeah, Cyberpunk was, was pushed back. I was actually really keen for them to do... Well, they kind of did what I wanted them to do, was release a hard copy of Cyberpunk, the RPG, in conjunction with the uh, video game and have it as like a collector's edition. Right, so <coughs> first of all, Cyberpunk Red release date, September 17th. Yep, so the same as Cyberpunk. Uh, yeah. So like I said before, I came for Seven Wonders Duel, but now I am interested in this Agricola two-player only. Uh, two-player two only, right. How much is Agricola for two players? I think you can only play by the big box nowadays, which is the all the expansions. So you've got a whole bunch of extra tiles and extra stuff you can do. Um, I think it was like sixty or seventy dollars. It's it's not too expensive for what you get, um, which is a whole lot of like decent minis. Um, Agricola, on its own, is I think about the same price, and that's a four or five player game. Um, and UA Rosenberg is a, a master at worker placement games. He gets the the push and pull. My not just worker ma- uh, worker placement games. He did uh, Quacks of Quinlanburg, which is this also is true. This is true. Oh, this Highly sucks. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had to do it. I yeah. had to do it. So, if I put it in here... Yeah, you're going to be making bulk. So, that means that this area here can be doubled, right? Yeah. So, so, two for each, but it can be doubled, so that's like four. Twelve. Yeah, gotcha. Sweet. And so, you can move your other cows in there and then have space <clears> for when your sheep breed. Nice. I really wanted to get on the pig game early, but it hasn't worked out for me. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to grab myself another stall, the... which is three and a reed that I needed. And that will go down there. Yeah, like, Seven Wonders Duel is a fantastic game. And that was one of the best games of Seven Wonders Duel we've ever played. Yeah. So take our guys back. Um, I can highly recommend Agricola or Creatures. I think it's... It, like, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know your opinion. Um, I think it's a really good two-player game. There's only so much you can do, so there's there's push and pull. Um, so I'm oh, going to need... Oh, hang a second. Breed. So breeding... You only get one. One, yeah. You yep. only ever get like you only one ever get one of each. I really wanted to get some, some pig breeding going earlier, but it hasn't worked out. And then my extra sheep so is going to go here for good now. Good to have that spread so you are like accumulating more as yep. you go. Yeah, get it in early, because there is only now... Mm-hmm. Two more turns in the game. Yeah, I'm not sure if I bred more than I should have. <sighs> we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I don't think you did. I think you were only ever adding one. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Because been... I didn't have enough room for it. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Someone can tell us, or we'll check the VOD. But you had you had like three, and then you picked up another one, and then you added another one. You might have at some point, because mm. you've got... Thanks yeah. for dropping got by, Scorp. Hey, Scorp. 
That's all good, dude. Hope you have a good afternoon. Is anyone watching the hottest 100 of the decade? I'm kind of curious to see um, where that's up to. Um, you're up first. It's probably nothing good, so. <laughs> Uh, cool. Let's do something. Do, do something. Mm. I'm going to take... We're normal. <laughs> fucking nerds. <laughs> Reese, why are you like this? All right, wood. Taking the wood. Solid. Always need that wood. Building fences mm -hmm. and paying an extra two. Yeah. For another fence. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. I need to build fences, but I don't have fences. Yeah. So, it's just what it is. Uh, did I, did we do resources? No, we didn't. I mean, I feel like, <laughs> didn't we? No, there was only three on there, right? Yeah. So. That should be, you should have got way more then. Oh, yes. Because this I'm should have. take six. We jumped in way too early. We bred, but then we didn't refill. Yeah. Because we're idiots. Four here. Uh, looks like they're up to 72, which is Monster by Nicki Minaj. Interesting choice. Uh, Pig here. What? <laughs> Sheep here. All right, there we go. Um, fences. That was right. Yes, I did. I did do that one. Cool. So stone was good. Um, did you do the stone? Because I feel like you put one. Like yes, there was one there. Cause there was three there. Okay. We're good. We are so sidetracked. What am I doing? Yeah. So that's what I did. Cool. Then you did that. Um, I now have way more wood than I thought I should. Yep. So great. Options. I mean, you can just bulk buy those. I could bulk buy those. I like your thinking there. Yeah. Uh, favorite genre of board game? Deck builders. As as much as I love, wow. as much as I love um, uh, Concordia and Battlestar, and I do have deck elements within both of those. Um, I think deck builders are just like the perfect, like you can think ahead. There's also the little bit of luck of what comes out. Um, so, like, I love Star Realms. Shout out to the boys in the Star Realms League. I've had a bad season. Oh, my God. I have lost four games because a hero has flipped out at just the right time for the person to either draw the extra card they need or get the damage they need to kill me, which is half the games of the season. It was brutal. Um, Tom's just saying words at this point. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, Cool. So, two wood, building. two wood and a reed gets me a storage. Yeah, uh, yeah that's a good choice for you. Uh, my... Uh, Favorite genre of board games is card drafting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, board game. Oh boy. Boys. Hey. Hello, Hello, my friends. Great. You guys color. can also now answer because we're having a discussion about people's favorite kinds of board games, favorite genres. Um, I'm very interested to know yours, underestimated monkey, what you love. So, Hello. Uh, but yeah, my. Sorry to cut you off. No, that's all good. Let me finish my. I'll just wait uh, for people. So, so uh, card drafting <laughs> and uh, rolling of dice. Anything that involves dice, I'm in. Uh, I like dice. I I really enjoyed Roll for the uh, Roll for the Galaxy. <laughs> so. Thanks. Oh <laughs> boy, it begins every time. Sheer chaos. All right, let's do a little rehash. So I am Lachlan. This is Tom. We've got Reese behind camera, and today we are playing two-player games. So we have already played Seven Wonders Duel. Tight, tight game. Tight game. So close. Sixty-three. 67. It was the closest game that I have ever played it's against. It's close Kong. to winning on science and, uh, and military. I could have pushed for military if I wanted. It was it was right. good. We're now playing Agricola, all creatures big and small, which is the two-player game of Agricola. And then after this, I'm going to verse Reese in Kahuna, which is my favorite uh, two-player board game. Hidden gem. Hidden if you gem. Hidden gem of, uh, of board games. I want there to be a, a sci-fi version of of that, I want it to make uh, like space be, lanes that, to get to different planets. Uh, honestly, it would be perfect yeah. theme for it as yeah. well. Like, so good. So we are very close to the end of Agricola. Yes, yeah, this is the seventh I'm round, only goes for eight rounds. Having a bad time. You've got bulk cows. This is my first game of Agricola two player. I have played the original yeah. Agricola game, but that didn't go out so well for also, me. Also, just want to quickly say, uh, I'll say this on camera. Yeah, yeah. all right, come on Reese, get, it, get oh. in here. Also, just want to quickly say, I'll oh, speak into Tom's chest. Uh, once again, thank you for rating us Board Game House. If you have not seen Board Game House or heard of them, go go see them, go follow them. They play board games. They're friends of ours from the USA. Um, if you're new here, exclamation, your favourite colour in chat, and chuck us a follow because I think I've got the lights working now and I need someone to test it for me. And I believe you guys were playing uh, Humblewood today? Yes, that's is the that, one I was trying to remember. Yeah. Yep. yeah. How Megan, did you, uh, Megan TPK'd. Ra did she actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, how did you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so this is Agricola, all creatures many. big and small. The aim of the game is to breed as many animals as you can. And in that uh, instance, or that aim, I am going to take four pigs and a cow. <laughs> I wanted that so bad. I know you did. But I had really not a lot of places to um, put them. So I'm going to put some piggies here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some... Oh, no. I'm going to put some piggies here because I can keep them... Egg. We have... Oh, no, we don't. That wouldn't work. But we have, like, bacon and we've got pav, which is, like, yellows. And I'm going to put a piggy there and I'm going to put a cow <laughs> there. That's my turn, your last turn for this round. Okay. Your fourth last turn. Sorry, hang on. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to do my action, right? Yeah. Then we... Then I'm going to do my action. And then we still have one more, one more round. One more round after this. the end of the eighth round. <sighs> okay, hang on. Let me just, let me just, let me just think about just... what I'm going to do because I have four more actions that I can do. Yeah. And I know what I want to do. I want to do that. I want to do that. I need to. It gets to that point, hey. It's like, mm. yeah. Mm. Those are those are definite things that I need to do. Um, I'm definitely going to need to do that because that's going to. I need. I need some animals. I don't have any pigs, so maybe I'm going to have to do that. No, that doesn't even help me. So maybe I'm not going to do this. Okay, but I know what I ne definitely need to do. Yeah. And that is to. So I can close off that area. Yep, sure. Done. Happy with uh, that. I'm gonna take myself a doubly boy um, and double up on the amount of pig boys that I can have. So that I can have eight pig boys in this space because each space can have two, and it is now doubled to four. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. All right, take them back. Take them, uh, take them back, and then the animals bang. The animals. If you do have at the least dirty. two of an animal, they make one more animal. Yeah. Um, so I now have nine horses. So I'm going to take this four horses. But I'm a sheer rookie and don't have any variety. I have sheep and cows, and that's what I have. I get a pig, and I get a sheep. Yeah. See, I needed. Dang it. All right. Refresh. Refresh the everything. Refresh. Uh, now the refreshing thing. works kind of interestingly because it's inc uh, incremental or it's stuff adds up is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So this space here has oh, a read on it. The so now you, smith of our generation. Now you add another sheep. <laughs> and then this one also gets another sheep. And then we're starting to run out of sheep. So I'm gonna put this Good. token here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. This is an extra sheep. Because that's what the game says to do. And then this one Does also it really? gets a yeah. Oh it's, my it, it, God. it's not like you run out. It's just use other things. Can you um, not move what any I'm more do, sheep into no, your paddocks? What I'm gonna do. So I've refreshed the top row, which is one, and it moved into there. the stack that's already there. I put three down Four and they've moved there. to there. And then we already had stone and one stone which goes into there and two stone that goes into there. This little fence is gonna go into this section here. Indicates that this is the last round. Indicates that it's the last round. If you took them and you could build the fences, it'd be kind of handy, but it's not really useful for you. Yeah. So, I am first player. Let's do some Thing. actions. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. This is rough. It's very rough. I, I've got so many different choices now. Mm -hmm. I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah? Yeah. Do you? I do. Do you know what you're going to do? I think so. Good. I'm glad. All right. So we're going to upgrade my stall into Smart. a stable. Yep. And now I can hold five animals. Nicely there, done. Which is pretty handy. So that's my five for that one. You are I'm up. going Yugi to boy. take two. I can't build two fences because I don't have fences. That's that was where the dilemma was. Um, all right. In that case, I'm going to take. Don't, play the game. don't don't worry about what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun back here. You and your wrestling. I'm talking and about your wrestling. Siege. I've talked about Rainbow Six Siege. Talked about oh. magic cards. Dude, board game house. Do you guys like wrestling? Because Reese likes wrestling, and so we're gonna Peter play. Scott, uh, actually, did some wrestling training back in the day. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, about the, the other day when on Tom's stream. I'm sure that will come up tomorrow when gonna we play Ticket to Ride. <laughs> okay. They won't be so... playing with Reese. They'll be playing with Hulkamania, brother. <laughs> god damn. Why are you like this? 
<laughs> the real wrestling or the fake one? Oh, camera oh, died. Sorry, race. camera's dead. Race. Did you change top down? I'm on it. Yeah, no. You've always been on top down. Boys, oh, boys, boys. I think I'm gonna, lads, I'm gonna get lads. some good stuff. Where's my, where's my, my goddamn chat points? I want big head mode. <laughs> I want it. I want it, and I don't big even get to see myself. Big head, big cool. head. My last two workers. We now pray to the gods. All right, camera's back. As we have a bad time. Yeah, like you've got some bulk, bulk cows. Bulk cows. And some decent amount of, decent amount of buildings as well. God damn it, spare bro. Big head, what? big head, did big she, head, Did she do big it? Big head. Yeah, she did. Oh, what a legend. How come she, wait, she's got it twice now and I've not Maybe even got Maybe mods and we don't Maybe get Maybe I'm points. broken. No, I get mods. I've got 13, 1300. Have you, you been getting more than that though? No, I'm just broken. Yeah, see, I've been stuck at 20 points for so long. I think like, maybe I need to like close the app and then open the app again because I feel like I'm broken because I didn't even change the, my numbers. Yeah. And I'm just broken. Because we all love... Maybe if it's chat only, you don't get them. Nah, don't be silly. Don't be silly, Tom. All right, have you figured out what you're doing? No. That's a shame. No, don't do this, Tom. It's bad. I don't like it. I don't even know what I'm doing, actually. All right, let's just take these because they're animals. There's bulk. You got space for them? Uh, yeah, I got space for them. Sick. So look, one goes in here, and this piggy goes here, and this sheep goes in here, and then this sheep goes in here. Nicely done. A wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> I'm going to build a special building. Yep. I'm going to pay two wood mm -hmm. and a stone yep. for the shelter. Nice. Which I fills in this last spot and gets me the free cow that I need mm. to then be breeding everything and not get any negative points at the end of the game. Nice. I honestly thought about that, but then I was also like, nah, cows are life. Cows are pretty good. Okay, so now... How good is beef? I'm going to build myself my last action. We're going to build a stable. Yep. Stables are just handy to have. And we're going to put it here so we can have more sheep. Nicely done. Because. How many sheep have I got? Eight, nine, ten. And that's going to breed. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes. We have lovely colors in the background. My favorite being. Bath water. <laughs> that is such an old inside joke. <laughs> it's so old. It's like, it's like it has come and gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm going to take this extra horse. Because okay. that's going to end me on 11 horses. Which it just, it's just extra points. I'm not going to lie to you. This is my first game. I did not count even what I was doing. No. I was just doing. No, it's 100% fair. <laughs> um, how many extra sheep can I place? Uh, well, it's going to go there. Oh my but god, then it's gonna you have away. like tokens yeah. to say you have extra. Look, did you take your extra one from. Yes, no, there, there was there. Because I, I put these ones here and then put the extra sheep back. And now we go to the breeding phase. Mm. So I'm gonna. This sheep's gonna disappear. Um, There's no cows. So which is a shame because I need a cow. All right, well, let's uh, you, you're gonna need these four times cow. Oh no, there's four times wood. How is there not a four times cow token? Because, I don't know, cows don't get it. They just don't get it. Right, well right? I have an extra cow. So put a put a put a horse on I'm the I'm gonna cow. put a wood on my That's cow. That's fair. Alright. Let's use that. So that goes there. My extra horse for the next point. I'm gonna use the special thin horse. Oh, there's a cow right here. Oh yeah, thanks. And I also get a pig. Mm hmm And I don't get an extra sheep, but that's okay. Um, because it wouldn't actually matter. Mm-hmm. So let's Let's do some let's scoring. Check scoring. Score card. Chuck it here. Let's have a look. Let's see what we you got You don't need here. to flip it out. It's got extra rows because it's only a two-player game. Oh, well, I mean, all right. Okay, fine. 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 Yep. fine, Tom. We'll do it your way. So we both get four points because we filled in our extra row completely. Yeah, so let's go with the first thing. So sheep. How uh, many sheep do you have? 11, so I get two points. 11. Mm, I think they're worth... Are they not worth like one per animal? How many? Uh, each animal is worth one point regardless of the type. Yep. Score bonus. Oh, bonus. That's bonus. That's bonus. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So, so <laughs> eleven. So you've got eleven. Yeah. And then it's got the bonus thing bonus here. Bonus right? So you've got eleven. Yeah. 
And I have five, seven, nine, eleven. Yeah, because you, you got some bulk sheep at the end there. Yeah, I did. Pigs, I have one. Uh, I have seven. Seven. It's all right. I won seven wonders, so it doesn't matter. I'm going exactly. to lose this game. Yeah. Just, just straight up. Uh, uh, moo cows. Moo cows. Three. Three. How did you finish with three moo cows? Because I got them right at the One, end. One, two, got them three, to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not bad. Yep. Ha! Huh, I'm ahead. I'm ahead. But then I have no horses. I have eleven horses. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I, I went horse game early. It's like I know horses are worth the most points, so just. <sighs> I know, and I done goof because I looked at it and I told, I read it out, and I still picked it because they look so similar. I was yeah. like, I'm gonna take this one, and it was the wrong one. It was the wrong one. Okay, bonuses for sheep. Uh, we both have eleven, so we both get two points. It's on the side of the board here. You have eleven as well. God yeah. damn. All right, so what is it? Two points. I was breeding them though. You, two. you were the one who just got them bulk at the end. Two points. Sick. Uh, pigs. I'm on negative. Three points. Oof. Uh, I have seven, so I get one point. One point. Cows. Uh, I have three, so I lose nothing. Oh, no, zero to three, you lose negative three. Dang it. Yes. We even out on that. that. We even out on that. And then I have a I thought you had ten. I have ten. Yep. So I get three points. Uh, yep. Three points. I love it. Horses. And I have eleven, negative so three. I get five points. Five points. Okay. Uh, we filled up both of our extra yep. expansions, so, we so both get four, four points. points each. And then points for buildings, I believe I have six, no, three. Okay, so I, so you, what did you get? Three? Yep. Cool, I have nine, plus half for building resources. Yep, but yeah. Can you just double check that for me, please, in the rules, what as mean? to how that scores? Um, Australia, oh god, that, thank you. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, so how it scores? So it says it's got it's got a half start. points. So you don't half run up or down. Half I points think are possible. You broke Lachlan. Yep. So for each resource, you get half a point. You have one resource, you get half a point. Okay. So just for that one, yep. right? Ah, oh, so point. the leftover. Yeah. Not leftover resources. Right. Half a point. Gotcha. gotcha. How is Australian? I mean, you didn't spell Australian right. Maybe that's how it didn't. Well, I think he was going for a joke. So. Uh, Australian. Um, but like, nice. uh, is Australian in our lights? It might be. No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. Uh, well, I mean, I... We should do uh, that. Scenes and then chat to make sure that that scene's available. I'll do it when we swap over, if you can't. Chat and then scenes? I think just the fact that I managed to build everything, so I got yep. points for everything, yep. is what's wrong. going to push me over. Yep, you're, you're not wrong. Because we both built bulk of one thing and then equaled out on sheeps. We have so many points. Half, it's so weird to see half points it in is. games. So... Um, my cute little uh, college with my little thin horse. So yeah, that's Agricola, all creatures big and small. It's it's really quick because you just, just go at it and you want to get three things a turn so you, you don't have that many options to plan super far in the future but you just kind of got to be like, this is what's, what's going on. Did I just tally mine completely wrong? Because, oh my lord. No, I don't think you did. Two, take three, plus three, take three, plus four. Nope. Nope, that's correct. Beat you by almost 20 points. Yep. So I finished on 25.5. Yep, 25 and, and a half points. Tom finished on 44. That's upsetting. It's because I got everything. It's because you got everything, yeah. Whereas so I you was... didn't have any horses, so you didn't get any points for horses, and then you mm -hmm. lost three points for not having any horses. Yeah, exactly. I, not having it, and it's, yeah. I yeah, probably didn't upsetting. need to push cows at the end, I thought if you got three that you wouldn't lose any points. Mm. Um, so I could have pushed into a few more sheep, but uh, I only really could have pushed one more sheep, which yeah. is not a big deal. Well, I mean, I beat him in Seven Wonders and Tom yep. has beat me in Agricola. That was my first game and I honestly was just doing, yeah, as opposed the, the, to the, like... The end game comes up on you so quick that like... <sighs> It did, it just like, I didn't have any animals to begin with and you definitely need to have like animals to start like generating. Yeah. So there's definitely like a flow of how things should work. Yeah. But then you've also got to have resources to get the things you really need to upgrade, mm. like the feeding troughs, because you've yeah. got to have at least one feeding trough to double something. Yeah. I think you also screwed yourself a little here by oh, fencing I, that in. I definitely did, but I was like, I'll just play a smaller game and yeah. get, I'll get like things in there and then you can hold four and it would have been nice, yeah. but I definitely, yeah, duked myself. Yeah. 
I didn't see my expansion. Oh, it was still fun. It still <laughs> still felt like yeah. Agricola. I can't yeah. even remember how to play the regular version of Agricola, but it's the same thing. This is just a smaller version of it. But that was pretty fun. It's a pretty fun it's game. Pretty good game. Where would you good rank game. it on our on our list? The, the seven straight up the bottom. <laughs> Grab, grab it out. Oh, Let's have a Tom, look. you're making it. You're making I mean, it. I'm going to unclip my mic then, and I'm going to grab it out, because Reese is going to jump in. Give me a sec. we got 30 more seconds of big head, big head mode. Oh my god, big head mode. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a list that we bring out to show these are all the games that we've played in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll rank them against each other somewhat, because you can't really rank apples to oranges and different people playing different games and having yeah. opinions. It's a fairly rough list, but it gives you an idea of the kind of games that we like to play. Um, Seven Wonders Duel is up there near the top. Mm -hmm. I really like this game, but I don't think it's better than Seven Wonders Duel. Yeah, I, I think Seven Wonders Duel And that's was... not to say this isn't a good game. No, this is still fun. This is still a great game because I'm going to put yeah. Kahuna higher than like Seven Wonders Duel easily. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think Seven Wonders Duel is more balanced. So, let's see the goods. So, first of all, here's our list. Oh, oh my god. Rough. Yep. So, we've I don't got. I don't know how that looks, but. I don't know. We could just put it flat on the. We'll clear this up and we'll put it flat on the table. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. We're just going to pack some stuff up. So, our, our list of games. Um, what do we put in where? So, meeps and stuff go in here. What meeps? Meeps and let's chuck um, the uh, 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 fences in there with them. Uh, pack up is the hard part. Pack up is the hard part. Is there a bigger bag? There is Lots a bigger, bigger bag. Um, so yeah, we, we kind of rank the games in terms of like our enjoyment because you can't really rank certain games next to other things. Also, it's like Euros versus a Merry Trash. Yeah. I mean, every it, all, due, all due respects. Balance Ameri versus fun. Balance versus fun. Like Spartacus, boy, good fun game. Oh, how good is Spartacus? But, oh my god, what is, is a good colour for cleanup? Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need to make an egg one for you, because that good. And we need to do some. Thought we're going to put some. Egg. We're going to put some secret ones in yeah, there, I reckon. Egg didn't work. I thought uh, I had a, a white with a. Tried egg with uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't. We are going to put in some secret ones in there as well. Um, There's already a few that like not many people so. use. And you can also hex code. Exclamation hex. Yes. Uh, and then space followed by the hex code. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it needs the hashtag. I don't think it does, but you can anyway. Oh, Doc Maggie with the clean up, up bitties. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that does not pack very nice. Oh, no! What are you doing, Tom? That's how, it, that's how it's supposed Step to be, though. Tom! What? Exclamation mark, egg Nello. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Is it egg Nello? Not I one? thought it was one. No. I swear I made an egg one at some point. Anyway. I like you. It is! It is! I, I knew it! I and knew it, I'm not up. crazy. Sunny side up. Amazing. I did it. And then Dr. Maggie swoops in. <laughs> Dr. God damn it. So good. Oh, this is just an ab it's this, an abomination. You know what, this game to to like set up was also not, because there's so many bits. There's so many little bits, yeah. And <sighs> dropped it. I forgot my quote. Pigs and animals. <laughs> Reese, Aka, Fruity Snacks, Aka, Bustability. Yeah, chuckle, chuckle the animals Aka together. Burrito. Chuckle the resources I think Tom's together. Is, Tom's is good. Tom's uh, is good. Exclamation Tom in chat for we, me can winning. We, can we keep cows and horses separate, please? Yeah, okay. <laughs> for love of God. For love of God. That wasn't the, like, Yeah, it, it, it's one of those things, it's like, I've, if I was ranking this on like board game components, I was like, do better. You've got three things that are the same colour and two of them are animals. It's like, kind of funny, because I was watching a, um, like, how to play this game, so I knew the rules before I had to play it for the first time, and they had different components to what I hear. No, so, actually, maybe, like, the, work, the workers were just like, just Maybe circles. that wasn't all creatures big and small, so this is the, this well, is the big box. Well, this is the big box. Oh yeah, so back on the big box topic, my only game that I have that is a big box, and it is so worth it, and cost me too much money, because it was an expensive game, similar to how Reese was saying how he bought an expensive game, is Escape, The Curse of the Temple. And that's a big box, so it comes with all the expansions, um, and it was expensive because I had to buy it from America and ship it to Australia, which big boy. was like forty dollars in shipping, um, but you couldn't buy it in Australia, and there was no one selling it um, because I think it's by Queen Games, and they had some distribution issues in Australia. I mean, so, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry if you're hearing my stomach grumbling. Rules. 
Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Let's. We need Reese. a marker. Reese, we need a marker and we need uh, some some tape. Oh, there's really tape on there. There's tape on there, but we yeah. need a marker. Catch. Good catch. Good catch. That was. That got me good. All right. So we oh, got. Let me swap to the top down. Got June and Scythe let up the top. Do, let me do I can job. still talk! <laughs> no, you know you can't. Alright, go. June and Scythe, Clask and Skull, basically because they're just super fun. Yamatai, Seven Wonders Duel, and Fluttering Souls. Hey, Bunch of like two player design. games. Cappy! That one needs to be. I just saw fixed. your opinions on our, um, you know, top albums. Oh, so good. Solid, solid Jump choices. in there, we got some good album chat going on in there. In our this Discord, just not working. Uh, it wasn't working on that one because we haven't put the paper on it, but this one's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Need scissors? I can throw you scissors. Um, so you got kind of the this. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I may need scissors, but do not throw them at me. Uh. <laughs> this is like the good game area. It's like they're not great games, but they're solid. We'll play them. Kind of, you know, as much as we can. But these are the ones we really want to play. Hey kid, uh, anything kind of below. Dumb. Courts or enemy weapon is where games start like dropping off. That doesn't mean they're bad games as such until you get down to here, and these are the games we don't like. Um, which at the moment is just DD Vault of the Dragons <sighs> and Tower of Madness. Hey, I didn't I didn't dislike either of those games. They I just did. there oh, was I immensely dislike DD. Okay. Okay. DD Vault of the Dragons is just straight up a bad game. Okay, um can I get a date for Agricola as to when it came out and was published? Please? Just so I can check that. Um, I can't watch videos while podcast editing. Like it just doesn't work for me. There's just too much, too much yeah. noise, too many people talking. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. Now. I want to say 2012. Oh, on the button. 2012. 2012. Nailed it. 2012. So we do put the year in there as well because, like we said, these are games that we played this year. Yeah. Um, on stream, on an episode that we are throwing in here because, I mean, it also helps us keep track that at the end of the year and at six months, we're going to revisit this and we're going to yeah. have a look at what we've got. Have a bit of a chat. Because on there yet? We, haven't, uh, we yes. haven't played Kahuna yet. We're about to. Exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so Seven Wonders Duel, <laughs> way up there. Solid game. Want to check out the expansions. Okay. So we said that Seven Wonders Duel was more enjoyable than Agricola, right? Yeah. Definitely. For Fluttering me, Souls. I think Fluttering Souls is better. Yep. Yeah. I like Me Agricola. Mechanica. I, I know roughly where I'm going to put it. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to keep dropping until... So, would, would, you, would you prefer to play Tickets a Ride? Yes. Quacks. Of yeah. Quedlinburg. Yes. Five Tribes. Yes. Robo Rally. Yes. Ishtar. Oh, yeah, I'd play Ishtar over this. Chocobo. Yes. See, this is where I'd put it. I'd put it above Chocobo. Put it above Chocobo, but like Chocobo's Chocobo. so Chocobo's good. Solid. I think this is better. I'd put it above Doom. Okay, uh, so I can do that. I, I yeah. would say like... I can respect that. I feel like I'd play this over Doom because Doom is such a heavy game. 100%. Chocobo is such a quick, light, easy game. This and that, is pretty good as well. This, this is heavy, but it's quick. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of thinking. There's a, a lot of stuff you got to keep track of and have a look at what the other person's doing. I think that's basically why I won, was Lockie just let me get pigs way too easily. I think I just let you do a lot of things too easily. Like, yeah. I wasn't getting animals when I should have been getting animals. All right, take your bets on when Kahuna came out. Uh, 98. It's, yeah, we... He knows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't throw scissors at you. And that's what, that's what we mean by like an un, un, undiscovered gem. Like oh. it's, it, it's such an old game, but it's... So it's made by Cosmo. They should do a reprint. They should. The way I got it was... Oh, what a oh, oh, uh, followed by uh, First Jedi Knife. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Please Welcome in. Have some finger guns for And then right. Maggie with the biddies, oh, letting your board game nemesis get pigs. Okay. It's a bad idea. So that is our games that we've played this year so far. Um, I, it's going to be messy by the end of the year. We're going to actually run out of room, I we think. We probably are. We're probably going to have things like stagger, like yeah. like yeah, zigzag. Yeah, we or we're going to have to break so it we... down into like two players versus like four player yeah. games. Uh, yeah. Who but, chucked us a follow? Because they're definitely new here yeah, and they need to give that us... Was, that the was Jedi. first Jedi Knight. First Jedi, first Jedi Knight. Knight. you got to give us exclamation, your favourite colour in chat, mm -hmm. which I'm guessing if you're a Jedi Knife, it's going to be your lightsaber colour. Why do you say knife? I thought I heard knife. Yeah, first knife? Jedi knife. Oh man, I, I was see, I was just like knight. My yeah. bad. 
My bad. I apologize. Thank you very much. You jumped in right as we're, we're wrapping up Agricola, all creatures big and small, uh, the big box. Let me edit um, the stream info. <laughs> So right. now I'm going to jump off, I'm going to set up an exclamation egg, which is just going to be copying Agnello's, uh, and... No, you got to stagger it, so then it's like... Oh no, you got to put um, yellow in the middle! Yeah, and yeah so the, the follow is working now. Whatever I did fixed it. Now that you're unmiked, can you grab the box, because I'm still strapped yeah. in. Bruce is also unmiked, and I can just bail out.